Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So as you can see over here, we have uh, started with this stall designing. We can say stall modeling over here. So let's continue this with the modeling of it. So very first of all, what I'll be doing is like, uh, let's create this stuff over here. So let's take a line over here first. So let's uh, take a line. So after taking a line, let's go into this. Enabling viewport and reduce this stuff and reduce its length. Just push this over here. So just shift and drag over here. Let's go into this again the vertices. Again go over here. Select this. The vertices. Just go on editing this stuff. So just go on selecting this and just push it in this way. Alright, so select this all, excluding this and let's push it a bit inside over here. Press shift and drag, make a copy of it, push it inside like this. Alright, so now what we are going to do over here is like let's create this stuff which is left out so first of all let's attach it so right click convert to editable poly <coughs> select this and attach it so once you have attached this stuff so right click use a cut over here so again use a cut so just to go on using So I think this would be like a bit difficult because this is different different part. So just go on doing this. Now, what I'll do over here is like, I'll just select this element, So right click on it and just use a cut over here, just use a cut over here.
let's go into this polygons and let's bridge it so we can just bridge this all <coughs> so after that let's again go into the edge over here let's connect it you don't need so many loops you can just use two of it ring it connect it so let's go on to this view over here select this and just push this out better so just save your file over here again now I'll go over here. Let's close this the back area over here. So we can just close this area from the back side by just putting a box over here. You can just go to the top view and you can just close that area. Scale it, push it inside. So convert to poly and just push this up. Okay. So even you can just close this area if you want. So we can just go over here and let's take a line tool over here. convert to poly and just push this in. so just select this all and save the file over here now what I can do over here is for this advertising over here we are again going over here and let's take one box over here and let's push this scale it scale it more go to the top view push this till here push it up better and again go over here take a line enable in viewport make it as a radial and increase its radius Alright, so if you want you can just push this more up and push it a bit to the left over here and just scale it a bit if you want. So let's go over here. Let's make this uh, chairs over here.
So for this chess, let's go into the line tool. You have to make the chess this height. So let's go into it, make it as a rectangular. Uh, let me use this. So go into this line. So let's go into it and use a fillet. So again use refine over here and just push this down. Better. So you can just push this up, right click, refine it and just so let's go into this view over here let's again take a line tool make it as a rectangular over here so just take a line tool so let's make this uh, support over here using this so let's go on clicking on it like this and make sure you are reducing its uh, length and width and you reduce its length that's too high so let's reduce this length over here just select this vertices and use a fillet over here so after this you are done over here just push it at the corner again just push it at the corner over here better so let's go into the top view and let's create a cylinder over here so create a cylinder push the cylinder up over here and reduce its give a bit of tapper tapper to it So convert to editable poly, select this and extrude this down over here. So what I am going to do over here is like I am just selecting this and I am going to push this a bit up. So afterwards we can just overall resize those elements uh, whenever it's required. So let's go into this uh, front view over here and again I can just scale it. I can scale a bit. I can just go into the polygons and, and I can just bevel this a bit. Just click OK. And now I'll again go on to the top view. I'll just take a line tool over here. Or I'll just go into this front view. I'll just take a line tool and I'll just make it like this. So same thing, reduce the length and width of it.
so just go on reducing its length and width so that's this is too high so reduce its length effect pivot only just push this over here and go on duplicating this element so we need uh, two more copies so let's create this two more copies over here so how to achieve this for the tires for that what we'll be doing is like uh, I'll go over here and let's take let's take an arc over here so let's uh, create a arc over here so let's select this arc scale this arc after scaling this arc over here let's go into this arc and increase this length and increase reduce its width over here scale it now go over here take a spear so let's take a spear over here for the wheels so how I'm going to edit this spear is like I can mostly take this in this way alt cube that's the isolation mode let's go into the side view of it let's convert to editable poly let's go into this <coughs> so let's use a bevel by local normal and just go on reducing this stuff in this way all right that's it so right click and end isolate this so so just click over here before i go with the further stuff i'll just scale this right click convert to poly select this just ring it give to connects just press 4 over here and just extrude this stuff and click ok alright so it's going to be visible in this way so doesn't matter much over here because the camera angle will be in a different way so let's give any color to it so let's select this both and let's go into the group and just group this and let's go to the top view and let's just place it over here in this way in whatever best way you can just place it just place this so let's just duplicate this over here again I'll rotate it and let's place this over here place it in this way shift and drag to make a copy of it so just place those elements properly so just shift and drag make a copy of it and place it in the right manner alright so once this is uh, totally done over here let's group this chair over here and let's reduce its size a bit and let's push this 
right over here in the right place and make sure you are just the right manner so let's go over here and we have a uh, mirror option let's mirror it in the y axis to over here so we need to make one table over here so let's create a uh, table over here okay all right so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial